Interpreting certifications can be quite a complicated topic. Which ones do you need and for what sector? In which languages and for what type of interpreting? Hi, I'm Rachel Ryan, NIMSI Insights Interpreting Researcher, and today I'd like to break down interpreting certifications a little bit for you, just so that it's easier to understand whether you're hiring an interpreter or you are an interpreter yourself looking to become certified. As I said, it's quite a complicated topic, so for today's info drop, I'll just be focusing on interpreting certifications available in the United States. If you are a judicial interpreter, you have a couple of options. You can become federally certified, which is an exam that is a little bit more difficult and seen as a small bit more prestigious. However, it's only available in two languages, English and Spanish. If you speak other languages and interpret those languages, you'll need a state certification within the judicial system. And these are put together by the states themselves and often each state has different requirements. However, the exam is standardized in at least 42 states. They are run by the National Center for State Courts and there are over 26 languages available. California is the exception to that rule with their own exam. If you are a medical interpreter, you have two options for certifications nationwide. There are, they are the NBCMI and the CCHI. These are quite similar in nature. The C, um, NBCMI has six languages available and CCHI only has three. The CCHI is seen as a little bit more difficult just because they have a lower pass rate by 1%. Um, and these are also harder to uh, maintain because the CCHI is, needs to be renewed every four years rather than the NBCMI, which needs to be renewed every five years. As conference interpreting isn't as large a market in the United States as it is in Europe, there are no certifications available here to conference interpreters. However, conference interpreters can still become IEC members. The same goes for community interpreting. There are no certifications available to community interpreters, but if you are hiring a community interpreter, there are ISO standards that you can adhere to. And there you have it. I hope that broke down the certifications landscape in the United States for interpreting. And if you'd like to read more, you can do so on nimsy.com or you can follow us on our social media. Thank you.